So right now you are involved in many philanthropic endeavors in Africa and elsewhere. Let's go through some of them before we go to how you actually made all of this money. <laughs> so uh, recently you had an event in New York where we are now with um, Mo Ibrahim, also a wealthy African business person, and Bill Gates, in which you um, provided a fair amount of money for the African Center in New York, in Harlem. What is the African Center and why did you do that? Uh, well, we did uh, the Africa Center idea started with, you know, uh, Chelsea, Clinton, Hadil, Mo Ibrahim, and my daughter Halima. My daughter Halima joined them uh, later, and uh, we realized that, look, we need to set up this Africa Center. We need to make it a, a, you know, a reality. First of all, you know, for us to be able to project Africa in a better light, you know, bringing Africa to the rest of the world. Uh, you know, especially when you look at, uh, you know, the third week of every September, we have the United Nations General Assembly where the entire world converges in New York. And what we want to do is to tell the real narrative of Africa and uh, tell the rest of the world what Africa is all about. So this is now to do with policy, business and our culture. You know, because sometimes, uh, you know, the, uh, I mean, especially, you know, Americans, they don't really understand much about Africa. You know, somebody will say, okay, well, both you Africans, you know, what kind of language do you speak? For example, in Africa, we speak about 2,000 different languages. That's a lot. That's a lot. So right now, one of the big problems in Africa is health, and you've been very involved in trying to eradicate polio in Nigeria along with Bill Gates and his uh, foundation. What is the progress that you've made to date? I think we've, uh, we've done uh, quite a lot. The, you know, the progress has been very, very tremendous. In the last uh, three years, we haven't really had any world uh, you know, virus of uh, polio. And uh, hopefully when we work hard between now and the next six months, by April, we'll be certified to be polio-free country, which means uh, the entire African continent will be polio free. Now for those who may not be familiar with Africa, Nigeria is the most populous country in uh, Africa, is that right? It is. And it's growing at a very large rate in terms of its population, is that? Yeah, about 3%, yeah, we're growing at about 3%. So yeah. in, if, at the current rate, at some point, more people will be in Nigeria than in the United States. Well, by 2050, will be at about 450 million population and I'm sure we will be way ahead of the states. We'll be about number three after uh, China, India, and then it will be Nigeria in terms of so, population. So by 2050 you could be the third biggest country third, in the world by population yes, the world. at the current population growth rate. So does that make you nervous about whether Nigeria can uh, house and feed all these people? Uh, it doesn't really make me nervous because we have massive uh, arable land, we have uh, a lot of water, we have, uh, uh, you know, the right climate. So when you look at it, the major contributor to our GDP in Nigeria is agriculture. So I think we just need to tilt a bit and change from the normal oil, you know, reliant economy to agriculture and manufacturing. 